This is uh, actually a study that was conducted in Egypt. Uh, the principal investigator is Dr. Mohamed Zagul, uh, who unfortunately wasn't able to come to present our work. We collaborated with him on the analysis uh, of the project. Um, and this is a study um, that's really a question of adjuvant therapy following radical cystectomy for bladder cancer. And um, the background for this study is that in Egypt, there was an earlier randomized trial performed in the 80s that showed not only a significant local failure benefit, but also a significant overall survival benefit for the use of adjuvant radiation. So in Egypt, and really nowhere else in the world, adjuvant radiation has become the standard of care for patients who are at high risk for local failure following cystectomy. Um, the trial that we're presenting today is a trial in which Dr. Zagul tested the standard of care arm, adjuvant radiation, to sequential adjuvant radiation and chemotherapy, okay, to see if there was a benefit to adding chemotherapy. The question of adjuvant chemotherapy in bladder cancer is a controversial one. His hypothesis was that the addition of chemo would actually improve disease-free survival. Now the question that he was posing is very interesting in Egypt, but not so interesting in the rest of the world. So he recognized that and decided to add a third arm for chemotherapy alone, and this would allow him to see if there was any benefit for radiation with or without chemo compared to chemotherapy alone. So um, the primary endpoint, as I said, was disease-free survival. Secondary endpoints were local failure-free survival, to some metastasis-free survival, overall survival, and toxicity. And he enrolled patients who were treated with radical cystectomy at the NCI in Egypt with negative margins. And these patients um, all had uh, um, excellent performance status. They were less than 70 years of age, good renal function, et cetera. And they had to have um, one of three factors that would put them at higher risk for local failure. So a very advanced uh, pathologic T stage, um, as well as positive nodal involvement or a grade three tumor. So that was his selection criteria. And after surgery, they were randomized to one of the two initial arms, so adjuvant radiation alone or adjuvant chemotherapy and radiation. And the adjuvant radiation was given 45 gray twice daily over three weeks. The adjuvant chemo and radiation arm was sequential, well, it's actually a sandwich approach, two cycles of gemsys, adjuvant radiation, and then two more cycles of uh, adjuvant chemo, gemsys. Then later, several years after the trial had already begun enrolling, they added the chemo alone arm, which was four cycles of gem cis. So in the combined treatment arm and in the chemo alone, it's the same number of cycles of chemotherapy. So the majority of the patients did have urothelial cell histology, which is the dominant form in the rest of the world, but 41% did have squamous cell. There was a median follow-up of 19 months on the study. And Really, first, I think I'll talk about the initial randomization. So that's the chemo radiation versus um, the radiation alone. And there, the primary endpoint was disease-free survival, and there was not a statistically significant difference. The, the difference, however, did favor um, the combined arm versus radiation alone. And we saw that for the other endpoints as well, just the metastasis-free survival, local recurrence-free survival, and overall survival. And the difference for overall survival was fairly large. It was 14% uh, difference, but again, not statistically significant. Um, so interesting, but certainly nothing that would change practice. In many ways, the second randomization is more interesting, certainly in Europe and in America. And there, there was actually a trend toward a disease-free survival benefit when you looked at the combined arm versus chemo alone, with um, you know, a 12% improvement in disease-free survival um, with the addition of radiation to chemotherapy. There was also a statistically significant and very dramatic improvement in local recurrence-free survival with either of the radiation arms compared to chemotherapy alone. And that was very interesting. This metastasis-free survival, there was essentially no difference. Overall survival, there was no significant difference. But again, there was a difference that was pretty strong in favor of the combined modality arm versus chemotherapy alone. The magnitude of the difference was 14%. Um, you know, so the trial, you know, has some limitations. So the third arm was added later as a weighted accrual, um, and that unbalanced uh, some of the baseline characteristics. 
Um, in addition, um, the study doesn't have uh, sufficient sample size to really detect a, a, a clinically meaningful difference. And lastly, there's a lot of heterogeneity in the um, patients on the study. So 41% had squamous cell. In most of the world, you know, the vast majority of patients have urothelial cell. So it's, it's unclear how generalizable the results are, but I should point out that the results for the subset who had urothelial cell carcinoma, the, the main type we see in this country, the results mirrored those of the entire cohort. So I still think there's some interesting results here. And the trend toward a disease-free survival benefit is also, I think, intriguing. Um, we can't make any definitive conclusions based on this study, but I think it certainly warrants further investigation um, on some of the uh, actively enrolling or trials, the trials and development, looking at the question of adjuvant radiation, many of whom are, would be in patients who are also getting neoadjuvant chemo. The NRG uh, has an actively accruing trial, NRG GU001, looking at the question of adjuvant radiation. And cooperative groups in France, the UK, and India um, are also in the process of developing trials. So we think that those trials will hopefully answer the question. But this trial, I think, provides us with some very interesting and I think intriguing results that suggest that this is a treatment where there may be benefit.